Hi, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Holmes again, uh, and it's time for Foundations. Today we're doing uh, Unit 10, Week 1, Day 3. Let's get ready to roll. All right, let's start with our uh, trick words. Echo me. Thought, school, America, large, each, between, one, answer, city, every, eight, night, great, country, world, mother, brother. Nice job. And let's go through our different ways to make the long sound of A. And here we go. Echo me. A acorn A. A Y play A. A I bait A. A safe A. All right. Now, yesterday, I showed you that if you had words that they could sound the same, but they're spelled differently and they have different meanings. And I use the example plain, P-L-A-I-N, as in plain vanilla ice cream, and plain with P-L-A-N-E, vowel consonant E, to be an airplane that is flying in the air. And you cannot hear a difference between the two. You have to know what it is that you're talking to and recognize the right way to spell it. We also learned that a Y is always used at the end of a uh, long vowel or word uh, when you don't have another consonant at the end. And that a I and a E are always in the middle of the word, and they have to have at least one consonant sound at the end. Um, a I can have more than one consonant sound. A consonant E will have one consonant sound, although A I can also have just one consonant sound. All right. Now, the type of words that we're looking at today uh, are going to be called they're called homophones, homophones. And homophones are words that they sound alike, but they have different meanings. And you have to know what you're talking about. So at the top of your slide, I want you to put A, Y, A, I, and A consonant E. And here's our first one. Echo me. Main. Now, I'm going to begin this time with M-A-I-N, main. It has a consonant at the end, so it can't be A-Y, main. Now, this word main with A-I, it means the most important thing. And I'm going to put a star down here to show the most important thing, okay? Main thing. For example, Main Street is the most important street in a town. It's where all the businesses are. Main, the most important thing. And then the second one is main, M-A-N-E, main. And this is a horse's mane. And so I'm going to draw a little stick horse here, an oval. And there's a stick for his neck. And here's his back. And let's see, put a rectangle there for his leg, and here's his legs, and here's his tail, and here, this boy's, and there's a ma an eye and a mouth, and a nose, and this, right there, that, that is his mane, that is the horse's mane, I'm going to give him some hooves. Okay. Sometimes if girls have long hair uh, and they wear it up in a ponytail, that kind of looks like a, a mane. Actually, I guess it's a tail. All right, so mane and mane. Now, the way these two words would be marked 
is very different. And I'm going to switch colors for this. And I want you to go ahead and if you haven't already done it, I want you to draw your pictures. Uh, but first let's go through and mark them. The word main for the main thing the, or main street, the most important thing. Uh, you circle the AI because those are, it's a double vowel. You scoop it and it is a double vowel word. I'll put my star down here for the main thing. And the word mane, as in a horse's mane, it's a vowel consonant E. So you scoop it, and you put a long A, cross out the E, and it is vowel consonant E. Vowel consonant E. I know it's, I think on our next one we'll have to draw the pictures down a little bit. All right, you can pause the video if you need more time. All right, welcome back. Now let's move on to the new slide. And you need to put a Y, a I, and a consonant E at the top on the first line. All right, here's our next word. Echo me. Mail. Mail. Now there are two meanings for the word mail. If um, the word mail you hear a consonant, an L, at the end, so we know it can't be with a Y. Male, m, a, i, l, male, and that male, let's go ahead and scoop it, and it has a, i, so it is a double vowel. This word male means like a letter, so here is a letter. And I'm going to put a little thing here, and I'm going to put, here's their name. Okay, so that's the mail. I go out to the post, or to my mailbox, and I get the mail. And the second word, mail, M-A-L-E, mail. This one is scooped. It has a long A, a silent E, so it's a vowel consonant E word. This word male, M-A-L-E, that one means a boy. A boy is a male. So I'm going to draw a picture of a boy here. And I'm going to draw a little stick figure. And I'm going to give him real short hair. I'm going to give him a little crew cut there. Okay, so a male. Put some clothes on him. Okay. Put some jeans on him. Okay, some shoes. And we know, oh, he needs ears. Okay, so we know a male is a boy. So we have M A I L, M A L E, male. All right, show your teacher your work. And new slide. Okay, write A Y, A I. A consonant E at the top. And the next pair of words that we're going to look at are pain and pain. Now the first word, pain, and we know it has to be with AI or AE because it has a consonant at the end. Pain, p, ain, A I, N. This word, pain, first let's scoop it. And let's circle the double vowel. This word pain means like some something hurts. Okay, so I'm going to draw a band-aid. Okay, because when I need a band-aid, and I'm going to say, ouch, I am feeling some pain when I need a band-aid. Okay, maybe I cut my finger, maybe I scraped it, my knee. But you feel pain when you, uh, and it has to be spelled with A-I. Now the other word pain, P-A-N-E, this word pain means like a pane of glass. And to show this, oops, we better mark it first. Scoop it, and then we have a long A, cross out the E, and it is vowel consonant E. 
Now this word pane, the window pane, I'm going to draw a rectangle. And this is a window. And the pane is right here. It's that piece of glass. A window pane. A window pane right there. Okay, so P-A-I-N is you're in pain and you might need a Band-Aid. P-A-N-E is pain as in a pane of glass, the window pane. Right here behind me, I have three windows that have a pane of glass in each window. All right, show your teacher your work. And new slide. Right, the next word that we have that are homophones are the words tail. 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 Okay, it has a con it has a, a consonant at the end, so it's gonna be one of these two. So first let's write tail. T A I L tail. And go ahead and circle your AI. Scoop it. It's a double vowel word. Now this one uh, is kind of like what we talked earlier about the horse has a mane. Well, the horse also has a tail. So let's draw our horse again. Okay. Put a rectangle here. Some of you, I'm sure, can draw better horses than I can, but this is how I'm doing it. Little stick horse. I'm going to draw his mane. Oh, he needs an ear. I, for, I think I forgot the ear last time. Okay, so, and then the tail is this right here. Okay, so that is the tail. The horse has a tail. Now, the second word tail, T-A-L-E, tail, that's a story, and I like to say that a, a, a well, it's any kind of tale. It could be a tall tale, uh, which is a special kind of story that I like to refer to as the big lie, because uh, it has things in it that can't possibly happen. But a tale is really just any story that somebody tells. Uh, for example, the Red Riding Hood is a, a folk tale. It's a story that's passed down. Uh, the Three Little Pigs, that's another kind of folk tale. It's a story that's told. All right, so tail, we have a long A, cross out the E, scoop it, and it is vowel consonant E. And for this one, we could have a picture of a book. Um, in fact, that might be the easiest thing to do. So let's just draw picture of a book. I'm going to have it an open page. And let's see. Why don't we just write on here um, three little pigs. That's the name of a folk tale that you are familiar with. Okay. Tale with a horse's tail, and tail with a silent E is three little pigs. All right, pause the video if you need more time. If not, let's move on. Our last pair of homophones that we're going to look at are the words pale and pale, pale. Now you hear the vowels, or you hear the consonant sound, the L, We'll do it with A-I first, P-A-I-L, pale. This word me is a bucket. Okay, that's another word for bucket. So scoop it. It has A-I in the middle, so it's a double vowel, pale, and it means bucket. So draw an oval, and then bring your bucket down, just like this. I'm going to put a little... I'm going to shade my bucket in. I probably made my bucket too big. Okay, so there's my bucket. That's a pail. And then 
Uh, if you know the, the nursery rhyme, Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. That's the word. Okay, the second word, pale, P-A-L-E, pale, that means that you're, um, if something is very light in color, like a light pink or a light purple. Now, this purple is not pale. It's very dark. Okay, but I could get another color. Oh, let's see. I have one. Oh, I don't think I have one here. Hmm. Hold on just a second. Sorry about that. This orange is very pale compared to the dark purple. Okay, it's pale. It's a it means a light color, pale color, a light color. All right, if we go ahead and mark it, it's a one syllable word and it has a long vowel sound. Cross out the e, and it is vowel consonant e. Sorry about leaving the screen there for you, boys and girls. All right. Um, and that's it for today. I'll see you next time.